What's up, Snacker Stars? It's me, me, the BRE, the man in the backwards hat, Brandon from the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society. And this week on the road is on the loose and in the house at Jerry Subs and Pizza. And coming along with me is Heel Will Mahoney. Snack Tom Pally, we got a challenge in front of us today. I don't know if you heard, Jerry's is building a wall. They're building the wall, and I mm. think we gotta climb it to get up over the top. We'll be right back inside to let you know what's going on. What's happening, Snacker Stars? It's me, the BRE, and there's Hugh Will Mahoney, and we are in the house at Jerry's Subs and Pizza. This is our first ever in-store appearance and review. Today we are here to take a look and a taste, more importantly, of their brand new sandwich, The Wall. What do you think about that? On location for the first time, and this is a noteworthy occasion, because this wall is huge. Gigantic, and we have to climb it. You got all your equipment with you? I think I got some grappling hooks. Some, I got uh, some rope rings. Crampons and carabiners. <laughs> and anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at it, of course. Uh, this thing has 50% more steak than the normal Jerry's sub. Uh, it's got pepper jack cheese, it's got crispy onion straws, and it also has Southwest sauce, which I introduced you to in the uh, video for the uh, chicken queso sub last month. And uh, we're going to go ahead and pick up part of this thing and show it to you. And we're going to do what we do best, and that's take a big old bite of it. Yeah, we got the fresh made to, made to order same day bread That's right. on here. It's nice and steamy and fresh as you can see. Yeah, they got that coming from a local bakery nowadays and you can tell it's like got that oh, nice yeah. like flaky solid texture to it. Yep. Oh man, I'm already liking what I'm seeing. Let's, do, let's, let's, do let's check it out and get some thoughts here. So far, I can't think of a bad thing to say. <laughs> so let me Take a bite and see if there is anything to say. Make sure you get some of those crispy onions in there. Mm -hmm. Bam. Okay, first thing. Hot. Mm -hmm. Right off the, <laughs> the darn grill. That is the real deal. That is for sure. Um, Without a doubt, totally hot. The meat is perfectly cooked. Perfect portion. You know me, I like to have a lot of meat on my sandwich. Yes. I was telling people the other day about how, you know, you go to Panera and you get a half a chicken sandwich. Well, you go to my house, a half a chicken sandwich means you got a half a chicken on a sandwich. <laughs> Here, you got not half a cow, but quite a bit of juicy, juicy, succulent steak. Yes. And then the way they wrap the cheese around it. Yes. Oh, it makes that perfect texture. Yeah, right? the ratio for cheese to meat mm -hmm. is perfect. Either one isn't overwhelming the other, and that wrap on it, that yeah. makes it so balanced out. It's not yeah. all sitting on top. You're getting cheese all the way around. Ooh, yeah. It's a perfect balance, and look, let's not neglect what you just said. That steak is oh so juicy. That's right, and then you get the, uh, the sort of contrast in textures when you bring in the onion straws, because they give you a little bit of crispiness, yes. and then a little bit of zing. But the real zing comes from that Southwest sauce. Yes, the Southwest sauce blends so perfectly with the onions. They set the onions mm -hmm. off, they make them pop. Mm -hmm. And that crispiness on those onions, that's so great, it stands out from the bread. It doesn't just blend in. It's a perfect balance. Of so much going on here, but it all complements each other perfectly. I gotta get another bite. I gotta get another bite. Yeah, get another <laughs> bite. You know, we're not just, you know, saying this because Jerry's is having us here. We're saying this because this is a fantastic sandwich. I think they've outdone themselves. I actually prefer this to last month's uh, offering or last quarter's offering uh, because I'm a beef guy. I love beef. Uh, <laughs> wow, this is awesome. Um, let's see here. How could you improve it? I don't know, maybe jalapenos? Ooh, jalapenos would be an interesting little bonus in there with that yeah. pepper jack. But the pepper jack's got a nice spice on it, yeah. especially with that and sauce. That might put it over the top for some people because some people can't you know, handle the too spicy food, the right. a lot of spice. But I'll tell you what, it's got uh, what 65 grams of protein on this thing. So <laughs> make sure you have your ankle weights on when you're eating it. Make sure you have your little hand grip going because you got to start working out before you finish eating it. That's before sure. you climb the wall, you need to climb the wall. That's right. You got to get ready because this thing is a workout and it's a workout in a good way. You're going to feel the burn. That's right. And if you don't know what our rating scale is, basically it's like a dial with a thumb. So you start at the bottom with no thumbs and then you work your way to the top with full thumbs up and you can stop somewhere in between, which is like your satisfactory C with your half thumb up. So. Obviously, we're going well past a half. Oh, yeah. We're going past three quarters. 
I'm going past three quarters. I'm going past three quarters. <laughs> I'm going full thumbs up here. Yeah, I got to do the same. We got a unanimous on our hands here. This is strong. I haven't been in Jerry's in a bit, and this right here is setting it off. This is going to have me come back. It's going to bring you back. I think it's going to bring me back as well. I'm going to make sure I get back here again, not for a review, but for my own pleasure, without a doubt, for the uh, wall cheesesteak. Now, of course, you got the wall. We don't want anybody to not to be able to get this, so make sure you climb the wall, you get over to Jerry's as soon as you can, and try this cheesesteak. Uh, we'll be right back in a little bit with some more from Jerry's. What's cracking with your snack and snacker stars? We're back at Jerry's Subs and Pizza on this very special edition of OTR, and I'll tell you what, we are getting stuffed to the gills but this time it's something kind of fancy. Oh yes, this is a whole different game going on today. No cheesesteak going on here, Pally. Today, we're getting Italiano style here, but with an entirely different twist. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. That's right, and this one is called the Italiano. Now most joints are gonna give you one of these type of sandwiches, it's gonna be cold. Yes. Some of them will even be already wrapped up because you know they don't wanna bother making it fresh for you. Yeah, they got in that plastic there, sitting out there since the morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't do that here. So basically what we got going on here, we got all kinds of meats, Italian meats that is, mortadella, capicola, Genu Genoa salami, which apparently is uh, made with wine, wine cured, <laughs> and also my favorite, if I can marry it I would, oh that sounds kind of weird, pepperoni. There you go, you love it on a pizza, <laughs> you love it on a sandwich. That's right. We got it all covered here. It's like we're going on a tour of Italy, except it's going to be a tour of oh, flavor. I'm getting that aroma here, it's awesome. And you got also provolone, lettuce, tomato, onions, and oil and vinegar to absolutely complete that Italian experience. Go ahead and pull this baby apart. Ah, there you there go. Look at that cheese. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got some of the uh, little red relish here and some banana peppers. Oh, boy. Add, add that right away. That's actually, yeah, you know what? I think we need to dress it up. Let's add a little, a little kick. Let's add a little kick. Let's see what we got going on here. All, All right. right. Get that banana pepper in there, too, right in front. Oh, that is a pretty, pretty sight. The cameraman <laughs> Alex, get a, get a shot. He, he made that up oh so pretty. Yeah, there you go. That, that is setting it off right there. Yep. You can't beat right. that. I, I don't know what else to say. I think we just need to dig in here. All right. I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. That blend of meats is fantastic. Oh, yeah. The way it all comes together. I mean, you can taste them separately, but where it really hits home, is where they blend together, that sweet spot, man. Yeah. Oh, God, that gives you the feeling that you're actually sitting right in Rome, <laughs> right in front of the Coliseum, eating a sandwich, man. Yeah, that is a great combination of meat right yeah. there. And that is, the, that is the star here. It's complementing and balancing each other out so well. Sweet is the main flavor I'm getting, and I'm loving it. So, it's so different than what we've been getting. And oh my god, the cheese, mm -hmm. balancing, ho holding it together oh so nicely. The, the lettuce, oh so crispy, good. Uh, that relish was spot on. So if, you, if you come, get, get some of that relish put in there because that, that, that sets it off beautifully. Mm -hmm. Everything about this, and it's like the, the warmth yeah. from it being grilled, That's that a adds a lot to it. That right. really it Base does. It up nice and, and the reason why it does, I think, is like I was saying, that meat together makes a sweet spot, and mm -hmm. then eating it up brings the juices out of the meat, yes. and it blends them together, Yeah. and that's when you really, really, really get that authentic Italian flavor, and of course it's got those little Italian seasonings on there, Oh yeah. and man, fantastic. You know what? This might be the best thing I've tried here today. Yeah, the seasoning, the flavor, mm -hmm. the, the juiciness, all of it together is so flavorful and it just explodes oh my god there's a lot going on there and it's i love that it's warm and you know i love that it's warm that fresh fresh bread helping keep it all together it can mm -hmm. barely hold on though man <laughs> it's like i'm holding on you better eat me quick because i don't know how much longer i can hold on to all this meat i'll tell you what i don't do this very often uh-huh I'm not just giving it a thumbs up. Uh oh. Giving it a double thumbs up. Bow bow! Bang, double bang. barrel shotgun blast That's going right. on right there. Geez, do I can I go that far? Maybe this is not a special occasion today. It's 
I'm loving it as a sandwich. Yeah. So I got no problem here. It's definitely a full thumbs up. I think I gotta follow the big boss man here and follow his lead. This is a special treat right here. Bow bow. Double thumbs up from Heel Will Mahoney. Oh my god. Oh, it is outstanding. Make sure you get to your local Jerry Subs and Pizza if you have one here in the DMV and anywhere else where they currently have one. I hear they're expanding so there'll be more other places stay tuned oh boy well we have made it over the wall it's been a very very extensive journey through the, the steak through the onions through the cheese through the pepperoni we have made it to the promised land of hot cookies who knew on the other side there would be fresh baked cookies waiting after getting over that wall it's just the palate cleanser we need after so. all this flavor you need something a little sweet Jerry's is celebrating their expansion overseas and around the world with these hot, fresh cookies. We got chocolate chip, and we would know that even if we couldn't see. Oh, yeah, the, the chocolate is filling the room here, filling the Jerry's location. Oh, my God. And they are nice and piping hot, fresh out of the oven. You can't beat that. This is no plastic wrapped up cookie you see, like, you know, sitting on the counter when you walk in. This is right homemade. It's not like the ones, yeah, in that little glass shelf, like at the mm -hmm. busway. Nope, yeah, no, none of that. No glass container here. All right, so I'm going for this one. I'm taking this one He's right on my top. name. Oh, that's, that's a nice thick cookie there. Oh, that's that's no little wafer thin deal. Yeah. There you go. I bet you get a chip in every bite. Oh my God. That is, that is, that is where it's at. <laughs> mm -hmm. After climbing the wall, this is the reward you need. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe even during, <laughs> sort of, you know, get your, uh, your, 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 your strenuous, well, not strenuous, get your, um, your strength, your strength, well, <laughs> yeah, your endurance is what I was looking for. There you go, and uh, get get that up to give you a little boost of sugar to get you past that uh, last bite of steak. Either way, it will give you that extra last little boost to get you over that wall. I tell you, what else you need to do? These are a hit. Mm -hmm. You know where we need to hear about that? Mm -hmm. Where it all started on the Facebook group. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm. <laughs> And uh, the way you get to the Facebook group, by the way, is down in the comments. You click on that link. We have hundreds of the coolest people in the world in our group, and you can be one of us, too. That's them telling us that they're going to join our group right now. <laughs> also, follow us on the Twitter and the Instagrams at Brandon Wright SAS and at Gil Will Mahoney. Yes, indeed. Take those Twitter and Instagram handles down below. Follow us on all the social media so you can know what we're snacking on. And you need to let us know what you're snacking on. Use hashtag Snack Society all day, every day for all your snacking needs. You need to check out this wall. I want to hear if you made it over the wall, and I'll retweet that out to everyone so you can tell everybody you survived getting over the wall. Oh my God, you join say, the Four Horsemen of YouTube. You can say you were there, the SAS brought the wall down. Oh! In the meantime, in between time, we'll see you next time. Awesome cookies, bye-bye. Sometimes in the world of music, entertainment, and motion pictures, things gotta happen. And when things gotta happen, you gotta hire the right kind of guy. And I think Jerry's hired the right kind of guy to get their job done. They got Steph from Good Luck Steph Productions here. Oh, such a help today. We've been tearing through sandwiches, pizza, wings, everything. And no matter what it's been, oh man, Good Luck Steph's been here getting all the good shots, making everything look oh so delicious. And I tell you, he's come through all the way. That's right. So what do you look for in a good uh, food review or a good food shot, Steph? I look for a good response. Good More response. More than one word, a lot of detail, and a lot of flavor out of the responses. Excellent. Well, I hope we provided that for you here today. And I hope you guys go find Good Luck Steph Productions so that you can give this man some business and that he can give you the best possible service out there. Woo! Have a good